In today's video, I wanna show you how to create rules in Gmail to filter your emails. And I recently posted a video showing you how to unsubscribe from unwanted emails. So make sure you check that out after this video to keep your inbox clean. So why would you wanna create rules in Gmail to filter your emails in the first place? Well, these Gmail rules, also known as Gmail filters, could basically save you a lot of time from manually doing things. So they could automatically apply labels, for example, archive, delete, forward messages. I use these rules to filter my Gmail emails in two different ways that I find really productive. One of them is applying a label to a very specific sender, and I'll cover that in this video. And the second one is flagging incoming emails so I don't miss anything important. This is really useful. So let me start by showing you how to create rules in Gmail and filter your emails here. So obviously first log into your Gmail account. I'm just on the Gmail account on my desktop. And then the second thing you wanna do after you log in is click this option. It says show search option. And then here you could get very specific emails from a specific person, for example, or emails that have a certain subject line. So I'll use emails from a specific person here. I'll type that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press search right here. And I found that email. So now what I could do is press this option again, show search options. And this time, instead of doing a search, I'm gonna create a filter over here. And then I could decide what I want to happen to this email. So in this case, I wanna make sure it's an important email. So I'm gonna go ahead and star it. And starring it is all I wanna do. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create a filter, but you do have all these options and you could combine multiple different things here and press create filter. Now, next time I get an email from that email address is gonna have a star next to it. So I make sure I don't miss it. Now, sometimes you're gonna to wanna to manage these rules or make changes to these rules. So to do that, you come up here to the settings gear icon, click this, and then just click on see all settings. And from this page, filters and block addresses is available over here. And pretty much everything that you've created over here as far as filters go will show up over here. So the one I just created is this one and it says star it. So I could again, select it and press delete if I no longer need it. Or I could go ahead and edit this one from here and make any changes to it on this page and then press continue to save that new change. Now, one of the biggest limitations to this is you can only do this on the desktop. It will carry over to the mobile app. So if you use the Gmail app on your phone, the labels and the filters will be there, but you can't create those. You can only do that on the desktop. And I find the process a bit complicated, especially if you need to manage them, it's just in a whole different settings, multiple levels deep in the menu. So let me show you a third party app that makes this process a lot easier. And it gives you some more advanced options that you don't have inside of Gmail. Now, Clean Email is a third party inbox organizer and you could use it for Gmail and you could use it for other leading services too, like Yahoo Mail, Microsoft Outlook, AOL, and others too. Now with Clean Email and what I'm about to show you, you could do some advanced things that are just not possible in Gmail and it's really easy to use. Now with this inbox cleaner app, you could apply predefined rules to messages that come into your inbox and you don't really have to do anything manually once you set it up. Now these automatic rules are created with a feature called auto clean and auto clean lets you clean lots of different things from security alerts to payments, to financial messages, marketing, social media notification. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna jump into clean email. I do have a link in the description below and log in with your Gmail account. Now, the first thing I wanna show you here is this auto clean option. Now, this is one of the things that you get with the seven day free trial or with the paid upgrade. But let me go ahead and click over here first and I could go ahead and create a rule from here. So let me go ahead and create a rule and there is lots of predefined rules here. So you don't have to guess or create one from scratch. You can create one from scratch using this option. But simply, if you wanna clean security alerts, for example, you could choose this one. Or if you just wanna remove social media notifications automatically, you could choose this one. This one is probably one of my favorites, archive emails that are older than six months. So if you choose this option right here, any email that is older than six months, you could decide to just automatically archive it. And all you have to do is create a rule from here. And now that rule is applied to your entire Gmail account. You never have to worry about old emails again if you choose this option. Now you could also create custom rules. One of my favorite ways to use this is actually creating labels and applying that label to a very specific sender so I don't miss important emails. 
And this email is from an important client. And let's say I don't want to miss any emails from this very specific sender. And it's important to me to mark this as an important email. Now with it selected, I could come up here and click on label right here. And I could create a new label. I'm gonna label this important client, press create. And it says selected and all future emails. That's what I want. Any email from this email address, I wanna make sure it gets labeled as an important client. I'll label and create the rule. Now, anytime this person sends me an email, it's gonna be marked with that label and I'll know it's an important message that I will not miss. Now you could actually see all the rules you've created and manage them from here as well. So I'm gonna go to auto clean again on the left side. And these are all my rules. So as long as I'm on your rules tab, these are all the different rules I've ran in the past. Now, the nice thing is I could decide to pause them. I don't have to fully delete any of them. If I decide I don't wanna run this right now, I'll just go ahead and pause this. And then anytime I could press resume to bring it back, I could always delete these rules from here as well. So any changes I like to make to these rules, I could make that change. And then as soon as the change is done, I could press update rule. Now, let me show you a big benefit with clean email using the mobile version of it at clean.email. I just logged into the same email account here and I could actually create a rule from here. This is something I can't do with the Gmail mobile app. So if I press create a rule from here, again, I have some options. I could press create a rule. I could choose from some of these predefined rules or create mine from scratch. So again, if I don't wanna miss an important email, I could type in that person's email address here. So match by email only, for example. And I could choose a filter here. So I'm gonna say choose action and I'm gonna make sure I don't miss this. So I'm gonna add a star to it. And I'm gonna also apply this to all future emails and create this rule. And once again, I could go to your rules here and every rule could be viewed from this page and I could edit, pause or delete any rule that I've created on the mobile version of clean email or on the desktop version of it. Now, if you wanna try out clean email in the description below this video, you'll find a free trial link as well as a discount to the paid version of clean email. And it's that easy to create rules in Gmail to filter your emails. And I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss the next video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.